Well, tonight, the head of the Oklahoma State Medical Association says politicians are putting their own constituents in danger with their words surrounding COVID. And unless there's a you know, some epiphany that people realize, oh my gosh, the things I'm telling you, my constituents are dying. I think we're going to be in the same boat. That comment coming on a day when we shattered, unfortunately, the single day record for cases, 10,000 new cases of COVID-19, actually more than that reported in our state, while hospitalizations have now reached the 1300s. 53 more Oklahomans have lost their lives to the virus. However, Two political analysts we spoke to who you know believe more Oklahomans are beginning to wear masks more frequently and getting vaccines. However, that doctor you just heard from seeing things differently. News Force Caitlin Ogle with the story. Katie. OSMA President Dr. Mary Clark believes this pandemic may last until the end of the 2024 elections, saying politicians use COVID, masks, and vaccines as a way to keep constituents fired up. Dr. Clark says what's dividing people is putting them at risk of getting infected and even dying. If we continue to use it as a political tool, then people are going to continue to get sick and they're going to continue to die. Dr. Mary Clark, president of the State Medical Association, believing the COVID-19 pandemic won't be over until after the 2024 elections, saying the virus thriving on political turmoil. But politicians have used COVID mask requirements, vaccine fear, vaccine requirements um, as, as a tool to keep the population fired up. Throughout this pandemic, the doctor says she's watched politicians use COVID for political gain. I have patients who truly believe some of the things that some certain politicians have said, and they have been absolutely anti everything this whole time and are now dead. With local elections starting up this year, followed by presidential elections in 2024, Dr. Clark worries the political divide may deepen. Flashpoint analysts, Democrat Mike Turpin and Republican Todd Lamb weighing in. So we might see some uh, um, pol politicizing here locally. The candidates will have to figure out exactly where they are on vaccines, on boosters and on uh, mask mandates and that sort of thing. Lamb believes more people are warming up to mask and taking a pragmatic approach, while Turpin believes former President Trump urging his followers to get vaccinated is helping. I think that it'll help motivate more and more conservative Republicans, mostly, to go get a vaccine. You're starting to see society kind of determine what they want to do locally. But Dr. Clark in rural Oklahoma disagrees. There's a definite divide, urban versus rural, as far as if you believe the pandemic, do you believe in vaccines? It's a much lower rate in rural communities, and that is not just Oklahoma, it is across the country. And as we head into the next legislative session and the upcoming elections, Dr. Clark advises you save any questions you might have for your doctor instead of a politician.